Scott Kuibitra, who was stabbed to death in Croydon on Halloween. A 15-year-old boy has been killed in a stabbing in Croydon. He's the second teenager to be stabbed to death in the capital in just 24 hours. Increasingly, both victims and perpetrators are young, children and teenagers. Last year, nearly 32,500 knife crimes were committed in England and Wales. That figure was up 14% on the previous year. The figures revealed by The Guardian on Tuesday, which show knife deaths among children and teenagers approaching a 40-year high, should shock us all. What's more, this year is no outlier. Knife crime is back on the rise in a big way. Last year, hospital admissions for knife assault wounds jumped by 21%, which followed a 13% rise of the previous year. And the majority of these victims? Young people. Police forces across the country are seeing a rise in knife crime. 38 of the 44 police forces in England and Wales have reported an increase. The age of those carrying knives is getting younger when 11 12 and 13 year olds are walking around with knives, something has gone very wrong. Survivors, amazing stories of God's love. My name is Michael, the speaker of this program that we are putting together on the 16th of this month December 2017 the focus the emphasis is hearing the stories the real life stories and testimonies of those who were once trapped in a life of criminality and gangs hear the true stories how it was Jesus Christ the God of love who came and saved them from so many life-threatening situations from a life of addiction to drugs from a life of depression saving these young men come and hear these real stories and look we need as that article says do we care enough for it to look for a cure we need a cure and I believe there is a cure and the cure has always been the same so invite your friends your family especially your non-christian friends this is open to all who are willing to hear people's real life testimonies people's real life struggles and how they survive through all not through their own strength not through their own power but through the power of jesus christ and his grace and compassion for them if you want to look for hope if you want to find peace and comfort this is the time to come and hear the stories of real young people going through experiences you may be going through right now and you are looking for a way out come and interact with them come and talk to them it will be a morning session and an afternoon session lunch will be provided so come and enjoy a fellowship with us at Great Brickling Street Seven Day Adventist Church. The details are on the screen as you can see. I hope and pray to see you that day. God bless you. Goodbye.